Didn't get my afternoon nap. Good morning. Morning. It's Thursday. It's the 2nd of August. And it's going to be uh, not a bad day today, actually. We're going to see a mix of sunshine and dry periods. But there will be a few showers in places as well, much like yesterday. Uh, and we'll see a high today of 22 degrees. So oh, it's going to be warm wow. again. Yeah, Very dead outside, actually, today. But um, it'll be mixed with those showers in places as well. Yeah, it's very heavy, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. I, it's nice I was training last night and I, I didn't manage... I'd say 60 seconds of our warm-up yeah. with a tracksuit top on before I had to come off. I um, Yeah, I know. I I was at training last night as well and at the end I just said to my trainer, he was like, you're all you're all very bad tonight. And I was like, oh, it's the heat. It's definitely the heat. So I was like, oh, You said you're all very bad. Well, no, you know. That's like, terrible. In, in a state, like. <laughs> so I said, it's either the heat or we're just sure lazy feckers. I don't know which it was. A, bit, a kind of combination in my... Maybe both. In my case, I think. Maybe both. Uh, right, we're busy between now and nine this morning. We're going to be live on Radio Kerry in just under 10 minutes. And um, when that happens, you can text or WhatsApp us or you can leave a message here for us. Uh, some of the things trending this morning on Twitter. This is trending all over the world. Why I joined Twitter. I have no idea why it's trending, but people are talking about why they joined. Why did you join Twitter, Andrew? I joined Twitter because uh, the radio. For work, like? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was going to be like something similar to Facebook, like a new version of it. Yeah. And I remember being totally confused as to what it was and how it worked. Yeah. And then when I saw that it was just 140 characters, mm. I was like, is, is that it? Is that it? I was very underwhelmed when I joined Twitter. Yeah. I don't know when I joined it. I just joined it because everyone else was doing it. Same yeah. reason anyone does anything, really. <laughs> Drugs, it's drink. Yes. Um, and I don't use it that much. I use it not time. Like a couple of times a week, maybe. We, we tweet it. No, personally. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I know we do for work. Um, uh, bloggers unveiled. Okay, juicy story, right? So... Yeah, you have to explain a, this to me now. I don't know the full ins and outs of it, but here's my understanding of it. It's an Instagram page on which bloggers' secrets and identities are going to be unveiled. Okay. But the only thing is, it's hit a bit of a, a snag now. The person who behind bloggers unveiled has now been unveiled. <laughs> <laughs> so, we know who it is then yeah like I didn't know who well sorry a lot of people are talking online about who it is about who it is, yeah, know yeah. who it is right okay um, but very exciting so if uh, so we'll keep you informed if we get any more updates on that it's like the RTE page the RTE yes. secret producer which yeah. no one ever found out who it was but yeah. they did um, uh, release some damning uh, evidence about what goes on inside the walls of RTE right I think bloggers unveiled could be gas altogether yeah all the social bull. influencers yeah um, of course, there is some page as well that people were sharing the other day, and it was like um, people who are on Instagram um, as kind of um, personal trainers and fitness life coach, all this kind of stuff, fitness coaches and all. And it was like how much they doctor their photographs. Oh yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised at that. So I can't remember now what it's called, but I'll find out the name of that page. And it was like a photo of the real person, and then the photos that they're putting up on Insta. Like El- Elaine and I have actually come across this before as well. We've seen photographs of people on on online on different platforms yeah. that are like you'd know the person to see, and then you'd see the filtered photograph online, and it's com- two completely different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. Like like ridiculously different. Like. Um, Bass is wondering there why we're why we're always in reverse on the video. Because you won't let me reverse it back the other way. Yeah. Um, Vicky Phelan is trending this morning. And um, once again, she, of course, met the Taoiseach yesterday. Uh, she's in all the papers today about the ongoing cervical cancer scandal. Uh, so according to Vicky Phelan, who spoke after her meeting with the Taoiseach, the High Court judge has been asked to identify alternative mechanisms for dealing with women's cases uh, that don't involve these um, very upsetting court proceedings for women who are already going through such a horrendous time and then have to go to court on top of it all. So uh, Vicky Phelan now is taking a break from uh, all her campaigning to enjoy or try to enjoy time with her family, the poor woman she's gone through so much. And also trending, Chelsea lost to Arsenal in Dublin last night on penalties after it finished a draw. I think it was 6-5 in penalties, was it? 6-5, yeah. Um, That was in the International Champions Cup. In the uh, papers this morning, the Times Ireland edition says Radcliffe cancer test inquiry will be in public. There's a picture of Vicky Field in there as well. And call for regulation after Facebook accused of shattering trust. Uh, the examiner says Brexit illegals threat to asylum system. Uh, the government has been warned that the influx of illegals into the country post Brexit could sink the asylum uh, system in this country and put massive pressure on other state services. More about the cervical cancer investigation, which is being held in public there as well. And there's a picture of Michael D. Higgins at the Galway race as well yesterday. Surrounded by young ladies. 
ladies. Um, the mm. Irish Mirror this morning Sorry, yeah. says, Gardaí investigating child abuse forced to get search warrants to obtain files from Tusla and distraught Irish dad breaks down in tears as he recalls his wife's death from cervical cancer after two misread smear tests in the mirror. And the Irish Times says, no evidence of property or land bubble, says Leo Varadkar. And Ryanair pilots across Europe plan uh, a coordinated strike action. Uh, unions in four countries plan stoppages for next week as the industrial action escalates. So uh, that's not doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon um, in uh, Ryanair's case anyway. So that's in the Irish Times as well this morning. So there's some of the big stories in the front pages of the papers. Uh, we're going to get things going in a couple of minutes. And if there's music you'd like to hear, you can let us know what that is. Has TV ever taught you something that you've used in real life? Oh, like I watch loads of cookery shows. Yeah, I was just so going to yeah. say, I've learned to cook certain things. Not learned to cook them, but yeah. I've seen how it's done and kind of gone, okay, I can do that. Uh, there's a story about a woman in the paper. She was out with her boyfriend for dinner and he started to choke. Oh. And uh, she gave him the mouth to mouth resuscitation and the whole crack. And she says she learned the entire technique from watching Holby City. She gave him the Heimlich? No, she gave him mouth to mouth. Uh, oh, sorry, he passed out. He didn't choke. Well, I said oh, choke. Yeah, okay. yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she gave him mouth to mouth. And um, it turns out that she learned the entire technique through Holby City. Wow, cool. Yeah. It's the whole. Have you ever learned CPR? Yes. It's the whole staying alive thing. Yeah. 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 Imagine though, if you were in that situation, you'd hardly be singing staying alive to yourself, yeah. would you? Uh, the the only thing that's kind of inappropriate. The only thing that terrified me about when I, I did the CPR course uh, through the GA club yeah. is that they said that you know once you start compressions in somebody, um, like it obviously takes it out of you because you need to keep going, keep going, keep going. But then they said something scary that like you know depending on what's happening in in the the vicinity, yeah. you could be waiting a while for an ambulance, which means you have to keep going. Yeah, if there's nobody else around. If there's nobody else around, you have to keep going, and that's kind of terrifying to think if you start and yeah, then if you're if you're physically unable. Somebody could die at your hands. Not a bother I, on you though, Andy. They, uh, You're so fish. I don't know about that. They, 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 stay, they stay alive me. all night. And do you know what else they spoke about? Actually, on, on a serious note as well, it was. Um, but not that that's obviously serious. But um, you know, when you if you have to use. Uh, um, What's the machine called? The defibrillator. If you're trying to use that, obviously to make sure things are clear. And then even women who are wearing a bra. You have to take it off? Uh, well. Oh, there's, there's wire to, in it. Yeah, you have to. I, I, th I think remove it in a, in a tasteful manner, obviously. But uh, yeah, like I all that kind of stuff You know what? If I was me. passed out now and you had to use a defibrillator on me, you don't need to be tasteful about taking my <laughs> yeah, bra off. Yeah, you can just, whip it straight I, off. I think it just means if you're in public, obviously, you don't want pe everyone standing around and watching. Ah, Jesus, nobody would care at that stage. Yeah, but anyway. They're terrifying. supposed to be very straightforward, actually. Yes, they are, to be fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd advise anybody actually go and do a CPR course because, um, uh, you know, it, it is very valuable information. Uh, so, uh, has, right. So, oh, yeah, go on. Will we go? But we've got thir 30 seconds. Yeah, we'll we go. Tell me something we go. amazing. Well, that I was just going to say, if, you, if, you ha if TV has taught you anything, if you've learned anything from a television show, maybe it's how to change a tyre or like Elaine yeah. says, cooking something or whatever, let us know this morning for the crack. And we, we should do a live Q&A as well on um, Facebook Live as well. If any of the listeners want to ask us something. Something you've always wondered about us. Like, oh, are yeah, we related? Yeah. Are we related? We were asked that recently, yeah. We'll answer those questions as truthfully as uh, She's we brav. are legally allowed to do. Yes, right. We'll go. We'll enjoy our Thursday. You enjoy your Thursday. I, I think that's a great idea. Um, right. Enjoy your day. Coffee time. Good luck. Bye.